In this video, we have algebra for secondary two and examples on sequences. A simple sequence like 0, 3, 8, 15, 24. This is a finite sequence because the number of terms is finite. Another example here we have negative 1 over 3, 1 over 5, negative 1 over 7, and so on. This is an infinite sequence because it has an infinite number of terms. Each term in a sequence has an order. The order of the first term is 1, the order of the second term is 2, the order of the third term is 3, and so on. The sequence is a function, and the order of the terms of the sequence represents the domain of this function. That's why the domain of a sequence is a set of positive integers. Positive integers means it cannot be equal to a negative value or zero because the domain represents the order of the term and it has to be positive value. The value of each term in a sequence represents the range of this function. So the sequence is a function whose domain is a set of positive integers z plus or a subset of it. What about the range? The range is a set of real numbers r. Example, here we have a statement and we need to discover the error. Each function whose domain is z is a sequence. What do you think? Is this true? z means a set of integers. It includes negative integers, zero, and positive integers. The domain means the order of each term in a sequence, and it has to be a positive integer or a subset of it. So the correction of the statement is every function whose domain is a set of positive integers z plus or a subset of it is a sequence. Example, write down the first five terms of each of the sequences whose general term is given by the following rules. Example, cn equals negative 1 to the power n times n minus 2 square. We want to find the first five terms of the sequence given by the following rule. Given cn in the following formula, start by n equals 1, at n equals 1, so c1 equals negative 1 power 1, negative 1 power 1 or negative, times 1 minus 2 squared, 1 minus 2 squared is negative 1 squared equals positive 1, and here we have a negative sign, so c1 equals negative 1. Find t2 at n equals 2, so c2 equals negative 1 squared, the negative sign will be cancelled because of the even power, equals positive 1, and 2 minus 2 is 0, therefore t2 equals 0. To find t3, put n equals 3 in the given rule, negative 1 to the power 3, the odd power keeps the negative sign, so we have a negative sign, times bracket, 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 squared is 1, and we have a negative sign, therefore t3 equals negative 1. To find t4, put n equals 4, negative 1 to the power 4, even power, cancel the negative sign, so 4 minus 2 is 2 squared equals 4. To find t5, put n equals 5, so negative 1 power 5, the odd power keeps the negative sign, so we have a negative sign, 5 minus 2 is 3 squared, so t5 equals negative 9. Finally, the first five terms of the sequence are negative 1, 0, negative 1, 4, and negative 9. Example, write down the first five terms of the sequence whose general term is given by the following rule. Cn equals negative 1 power n over n square. Required to find the first five terms of the sequence, start by n equals 1. At n equals 1, t1 equals negative 1 power 1 is negative 1 over 1 square equals negative 1. At n equals 2, t2 equals negative 1 square over 2 square equals 1 over 4. At n equals 3, negative 1 power 3 over 3 squared is negative 1 over 9. At n equals 4, t4 equals negative 1 power 4 over 4 square equals 1 over 16. Finally, at n equals 5, negative 1 power 5 over 5 square equals negative 1 over 25. Finally, the five terms of the sequence are negative 1, 1 over 4, negative 1 over 9, 1 over 16, and negative 1 over 25. 
In this example, look at the sign of each term of the sequence. The first term is negative, then positive, then negative, then positive, then negative. If the sign of each term of a sequence is different than the sign of the next term, then the sequence is called alternating sequence. Example, show if the sequence is increasing, decreasing, or otherwise. Cn equals 1 over 3n minus 1. To understand increasing and decreasing sequences, let's see an example. Look at the sequence. 15 is greater than 11. 11 is greater than 7. 7 is greater than 3. Each term is greater than the previous term. The sequence is increasing. In the sequence, 1 is less than the previous term, 2. And 2 is less than the previous term, 4. And so on. We say that the sequence is decreasing. So in a sequence, if each term is greater than the previous term, we say that the sequence is increasing sequence. And if each term is less than the previous term, we say that the sequence is decreasing. So if Tn plus 1 is greater than the previous term Tn, so the sequence is increasing. And if Tn plus 1 is less than the previous term Tn, we say that the sequence is decreasing. What we're going to do here is to check the difference between a term and the previous one. If the difference between a term and the previous term is positive, this means that each term is greater than the previous term and the sequence is increasing sequence. If the difference between a term and the previous one is negative, this means that each term is less than the previous one and the sequence is decreasing sequence. To find Tn plus 1, put n equals n plus 1 in the general term Tn. So Tn plus 1 equals 1 over 3 times bracket n plus 1 minus 1. This is Tn plus 1 minus Tn. Simplify the denominator. 3 times n plus 3 minus 1 is 3n plus 2. Here we need to subtract two fractions. To subtract two fractions, find a common denominator by cross multiplying the two denominators. The denominator of the first fraction goes up to the second fraction, and the denominator of the second fraction goes up to the first fraction. And the common denominator is the product of the two denominators. Multiply 3n plus 1 times 1, and here multiply 3n minus 1 times this one. So 3n minus 1 minus, we have a negative sign here, so change the sign of the two terms. So minus 3n minus 2. And to find the common denominator, multiply the two denominators. So 3n plus 2 times 3n minus 1, multiply to get 9n square plus 3n minus 2. Simplify the numerator, 3n minus 3n is 0, and negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. What we need to do is to check if this amount is positive or negative. The numerator is negative. What about the denominator? In the denominator, we have an expression in terms of n. n is the order of each term, and it has to be positive. So 9n squared plus 3n is a positive number greater than 2. That's why the denominator is a positive number. If the numerator is negative and the denominator is positive, so the fraction is negative. So the fraction is less than 0 and the difference between Tn plus 1 and Tn is negative. Therefore, the sequence is decreasing. Another example, Tn equals negative 1 power n over 2n plus 4. Here we want to check whether the sequence is increasing, decreasing, or otherwise. What we're going to do is to check the difference between a term and the previous term. Tn plus 1 minus Tn. If the difference is positive, so it's increasing, and if the difference is negative, so it's decreasing. To find Tn plus 1, put n equals n plus 1 in the general term Tn. Negative 1 power n is negative 1 power n plus 1 over 2 n plus 1, n plus 4, minus Tn. Tn is negative 1 power n over 2n. The 4 would be cancelled in the two terms. How to simplify this? Here, negative 1 has two different powers in the two terms. Here we have negative times negative 1 power n. The negative means negative 1 times negative 1 power n. 
negative 1 power n times negative 1 means negative 1 power n plus 1. And the negative sign here changed into plus. Take negative 1 power n plus 1 as a common factor. The first denominator is 2 times n plus 1. The second denominator is 2n. So the common denominator is 2 times n plus 1 times n. This is the common denominator. Now multiply the first numerator by n and multiply the second numerator by n plus 1. So n times 1 and here 1 times n plus 1. So n plus n plus 1 over the common denominator. Now simplify. n plus n is 2n plus 1 over 2n times n plus 1. If n equals 1 or 3 or 5 or if n is an odd number, the expression will be positive. But if n is 2 or 4 or an even number, the expression will be negative. Therefore, the sequence is neither increasing nor decreasing. Another sequence, and you want to check if it's increasing, decreasing, or otherwise. Cn equals 2 times 3 over 2 power n minus 1. So find Cn plus 1 minus Cn and check if it's positive, negative, or otherwise. To find Cn plus 1, put n equals n plus 1 in the general term Cn. So Cn plus 1 is 2 times 3 over 2 power n plus 1 minus 1 is n minus Cn, the general term, 2 times 3 over 2 power n minus 1. Take 2 times 3 over 2 power n as a common factor. Divide each term by the common factor. So the first term is 1 minus 3 over 2 power negative 1. 3 over 2 power negative 1 is 2 over 3. 1 minus 2 over 3 is 1 over 3. 1 over 3 times 2 is 2 over 3 times 3 over 2 power n. To find the simplest form, here we have 2 over 3 and inside the bracket we have 3 over 2. 2 over 3 equals 3 over 2 power negative 1. And finally, this is equal to 3 over 2 power n minus 1. This amount is positive for any value of n and the sequence is increasing.